Hi everyone, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm back again with another tutorial for you. And today I'm going to show you how I made this. Um, and I think these are great little gifts to give, you know, all sorts of people and occasions. And I think they'd be great for little craft fairs as well. And I've got the little um, better than email stamp set on the back. So you just take the ribbon off and it opens up like a little book. And inside it's got four little tea lights. And I've also stamped on the acetate with stays on. And it opens up and it fits um, perfectly four regular sized tea lights and I think it is great so I'm going to show you how to make it <coughs> excuse me so I've got all my little bits prepped here and we're making this one in soft sky and we're using the um, succulent garden and this piece of acetate is uh, heat resistant because I'm going to heat emboss something on it this time but I'm sure stamping up acetate you can heat emboss on that so we're going to score our the box first and this needs to measure 8 and 1 8 by 5 inches okay so I'm just going to get is it the scoreboard we need Yes, that's right. Okay, so take the scoreboard and what you're going to do is on the long side you are going to score it at five eighths of an inch. Then you're going to score at three and three quarters, four and three eighths and seven and a half you're going to turn it to the short side and you're going to score again at five eighths three and three quarters and four and three eighths again okay so you should end up with that and whoops I just wanted to show you that the double score lines are the top of the little box and the, this one is the bottom of the box. Okay, so we're just going to fold and burnish these lines. And then we're going to cut it all and then we're going to cut our little window in. <clears throat> so if you take some scissors now just determine which is going to be the front and the back. So that's going to be the front of my box. So on the bottom here I want to remove this square completely. Okay. And then I just want to cut up either side of here. And the same with this one. Okay, so that will be the bottom will just fold in like that. And then for the top, we need to remove this section here because we want it to fold over this way. So I'm going to remove this piece. Like 
so and I'm going to remove this and then I'm just going to wedge that in a little bit and I'm going to cut down here and I'm going to remove this top one as well and cut down there So as you can see it's starting to take shape so and then we need to remove these two here and then I'm going to round the corners on, on this bit So, and then that is our little box which will close like so and then this piece here if you just I've got a one inch circle and I'm just going to take a little piece out for a finger hole just like that okay and then I want my little cut out here so what I've got for that is the layering ovals and I'm going to use this one to cut my little aperture out and then I've got this one which is going to cut my little piece of acetate out like so so we'll get these cut out and then we can uh, get the stamping done so i'm just gonna bring the big shot in here so i'm going to cut the little aperture out first So I'm just going to eyeball where I want this. I've got the magnetic platform but <clears throat> I haven't uh, managed to get it out. So that looks okay. Just run this through. And if you keep that, that's what I stamped my little copyright sentiment on. So there's the front of our little box. And then I'm going to take the other piece and put it on the acetate and just cut a little, a little piece out here. You've got a nice neat little shape there of um, acetate so that's them done so we can get this out the way okay so let's bring in our little piece of acetate I'm just going to get a little scrap piece here Okay, so I know it's probably hard for you to see it so I'm going to take the embossing body and still give this a wipe even though it's acetate okay and then the stamp set I'm using for that is lift me up and all I'm going to put in is the little heart in the middle of the acetate so I've got my Versamark 
just going to ink it up. And then I'm going to try and get it roughly in the middle. Yeah, I can see that's worked. And I've got some gold embossing powder. And I'm just going to pour it on here. There we go. And I'm just going to cut this little piece off that's irritating us. There we go. So we're just going to quickly heat set that. Just going to get some tweezers to hold it because it's quite small. I'm just let it heat up for a little bit. Does really quickly as you can see. That's done already. Okay, so I'm just going to check that it's going to fit okay. And yeah, that looks lovely. So we're going to put this bit of our box together. So I want some tape down here. Because that's going to go around there. And I want some tape on here. And also a couple of pieces on the little outside of the two tabs there. Okay, so I'm going to take this bit off. Oh no, we need to put our acetate in. Hmm, nearly forgot. Right, so for the acetate, I'm going to get some glue dots. And I'm just going to pop some right in the corners. Gonna see what that will be like. Yeah, I can get one on the bottom as well. There we go, and then hopefully it should place quite nicely. Just going to move this one back a little bit because it's sticking. I don't want it peeping through the gap, that's all. There we go. And it's nice and neat inside as well, as you can see. And that looks really, really pretty. <coughs> Okay, so now we can stick our box together. If you just fold that like that, okay, that will fold round onto there. And then I take the tape off the sides here. So 
so you can just pop them in there and that will stick to the side of our little box have it nice and secure and then this will just fold round there we go I mean even that on its own I think is a lovely little gift for somebody you know I really do so candles oh damn I forgot to get me candles just a sec I get these from Wilco's these are wild lavender and rose and they smell beautiful so go in there and when if you make this you'll see they do fit absolutely perfectly you know there's just the tiniest amount of space they're not going to move around and you can still see your little heart there which yeah I'm really pleased with these I think they're lovely so there's that now we're just going to quickly work on our wrap and for that you need a piece of if I can get a hold of it a piece of card which is three three and three sixteenths now that's the only way I could get it to fit right by seven inches and you need three pieces of DSP which are three by three and one which is three by five eighths of an inch so I'm going to use my um, trimmer for this because I found this was the best way because we're going to have to score it at three and three sixteenths so long side three and three sixteenths and a sixteenth is one of those tiny ones that will be one two three okay so three and three sixteenths I'm going to score that there and then three and seven eighths and that's it okay so I'm just gonna fold and burnish these two lines and Bring the little box in and I'll show you it just there's just a tiny little gap on the edge again this is a lovely snug fit there we go because I didn't want it flapping around and you know sticking all over the place so the DSP I'm gonna pop it on all the sides apart from the one the box is gonna stick on so I'm just going to use a tape pen for quickness. Just decide which um, way you like the paper. Yep, yeah, these make fantastic little gifts. They really do. Like I say, I think they would be great for car boot, um, for craft fairs and stuff like that. You don't need one on there because that's where your little box is going to stick. But I'm going to put one on the back as well. But you can put it wherever you want. And then you're going to need some tape, um, a piece of tape down here for your little book to stick to, your little box rather. And then I stick this on the back of the box, just a couple of pieces on the back however many you want really so 
So I'm going to peel this off first. And stick our little book in. So I'm just going to line it up just beside the score line. And then there we go. There's our little box inside. And then I'm going to remove this and just press that like that. And isn't that so sweet? It really is. I think it's just a lovely little idea, especially with the, the little acetate. So quickly what's left to do is I've got my little scallop circle. I've got the better than email and some sweet sugar plum. And this just says from my heart to yours. And I'm just going to stamp that in the middle. Like so. A bit of tape on the back. Oh, I bet it's run out. No, it hasn't. And on the back here. Check that's the right way around. I mean, you don't have to put these on. You can, you know, just put whatever you like on. That's on there. And then I have got... Oh, I should have... A scrap piece of oh I haven't got any scrap whisper white um, oh, use very vanilla no oh, damn I'll have to stamp it on um oh I can't what I was gonna do was stamp um this on from Thank you, but I haven't, I can't find a piece. Oh, just use this. I've got the stamp mounted and I'm going to do it in sweet sugar plum. Like so. And I've got a two inch circle punch. And that's going to go on the front of the box. Just get this ink out of the way. Just like so. And because I'm going to pop some ribbon around, I'm just going to stick this flat. So I'm going to pop that. Is that the right way yet? Yeah. I'm going to pop that just there. And I've got some of the ribbon from Celebration. I'm just going to cut a piece off. And quickly tie this in a little bow. And this just keeps it closed. And I might just leave that. Oh, it's a little bit big, isn't it? Just trim the ends. And there we go. I hope you like it. I love it. I think they're great. And like I say, you can put whatever you want on in there. And that one was just another sentiment from, um, what do you call it? One big meaning. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope you like them. I'll be back again on um, Friday with another tutorial. So, until then, thanks for watching and bye for now.